Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee with Tim. Hope you're having a good December 4th. It's a good day in the Hague House, and uh, yeah, we actually made it this morning. I was doubtful once again that uh, this Friday might happen. <laughs> After the bit of a week that I've had, it was a little little doubtful, but uh, here we are, alive and well, kicking. Uh, had a, from a parky standpoint, had a horrible night's sleep last night, which uh, many of you will completely be able to relate to, and these things just happen. That's just the way it is some days. But here we are. Morning, Abe and Betty, Leanne. Good to see you guys. Welcome. How's everybody doing? So my question to start off everybody with this morning is how are you doing with your Christmas shopping morning Betty I think I think I'm done I have to hit buy on a couple more things I need uh, of course my daughter's input on some of these things before I buy them for my wife but um, I think I'm just about done so I'm curious are you buying online are you venturing out to curbside pickup anywhere are you venturing into stores I don't know what stores are open. <laughs> I have to admit, I've hardly been out of my house at all. It's a uh, it's bizarre right now feeling. Um, I go out, we get out for a walk pretty much every day. Occasionally I get out for a bike ride. Every Saturday we go for a bike ride with some friends. Uh, social distance, of course, don't worry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's really bizarre being in the house so much as much as we are but you will notice that uh, the title of today's uh, Facebook live is coffee with Tim to be or not to be part two I've had a number of requests over the past week you know what have we done about the dog have we made a decision yada 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 well hold on we will get there we'll have a look but uh, I want to give a few people time to uh, get signed on and so while we're, wait while we're waiting for folks Tell me how you're doing your uh, grocery shop, uh, grocery shopping. <laughs> My wife had went and picked up the groceries this morning. That's another thing we're doing totally different, right? Where she's ordering things online, going and picking them up, and uh, bringing them home. It every everything is topsy turvy. Everything just feels so bizarre right now. But we will come around to the dog. But in the, while we're waiting for a few more to sign on, let's uh, tell me how you're doing your Christmas shopping this year. Are you, uh, are you going to stores if you're in the States? It, you guys are just kind of on the cusp, it seems. Uh, President-elect Biden says he sounds like he's going to request masks be worn more. Are more stores closed in your area? Not more, more closed. I know here in Canada, where I'm at, we are pretty much shut down. There's very little that's open and available. Even some stores you go into, you can't buy everything that they have on the shelves. They have non-essentials covered up. So it's just a, it's a wild, wild world. This week I had the opportunity of speaking for one of the largest um, pork producers in Canada. Um, that was a really cool experience. I've been doing more and more speaking online, um, virtual stuff, and uh, that's fun, horribly challenging. And I have to admit, if any of them are listening, turn it off, don't listen. If you know any of them, don't tell them. I was horribly nervous. <laughs> And if you if you've heard me speak before, if you you've heard me talk about my speaking, I am not a I am not a nervous speaker. Normally, I mean, going into anything, there's always a little bit of nerves ahead of time. But this one actually had me pretty wound up, and uh, because I was it was a pretty big deal, pretty big audience, um, some friends involved, and it was um, a, a large time frame. I was slated for 90 minutes. It's a long time. <laughs> And I normally do 30 minutes to an hour. So um, I went into it with a bit of trepidation, but it went really well. It went really, really well. I was very happy coming out of it. So today I am exhausted. Um, was awake at 4 this morning for who knows what reason. I went to bed tired, thought I would sleep all night. Awake at 4, got up, did some Christmas shopping. <laughs> did some work on the dog, which we're coming to. And uh, yeah, was quite thankful this morning that the speaking gig was done and that it went as well as it did. Good morning, Sydney. Good to see you. So we're, we're looking for comments on how you're doing your Christmas shopping this year. Are you buying online? Is everything online? Like for me, everything's online. I'm not going to a store at all. A lot of our stores aren't even open where I live. So uh, how are you managing things? Are you done? Last year, Cheryl was done probably a 
think she said by the end of November. I think she's pretty much done now. I will finish this morning. I should hit the final final button after I get some input from uh, my daughters and we should be good. So uh, on a, another parky note, weird shoulder pain. For probably the better part of four years, I've uh, struggled on and on again, off again with this left shoulder. Yes, I'm waiting to make wait for the dog. Just, just it's coming. <laughs> um, weird shoulder pain that I've seen multiple physiotherapists for. I've seen multiple doctors for massage therapy. On and on. I have finally found something that has allowed my shoulder pain to go away. You're not going to like it. I have stopped going to the gym. <laughs> just briefly. Just briefly. I do a lot of uh, rock steady boxing, go at least twice a week to that, on top of my cycling and yoga and a few other things. And my physiotherapist that I finally found suggested that I stop doing the punching because it was aggravating, whatever it's aggravating there. No pec work, as in no um, push ups, nothing like that. Stop stressing the, the muscles here in the chest and stretch, 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 lots of stretching. For the first time in for sure three years, I'm having very little shoulder pain. I can actually lift my shoulder, and that's that right there is amazing because normally I can't do that. My my right arm's quite good, but normally I can't get my left to just automatically go. <clears throat> I generally have to stretch it first. So, in many ways, we're having a good week this week. Don't worry, I'm still getting the workouts in. I'm still doing my yoga, still on my bike. Got my trainer set up in the house and getting out a little bit. So things are still going well on the tra training side, just not going to the gym. So you got to do what you got to do, right? Parkinson's throws weird things at you. You sort it out, figure it out, and hopefully in the new year I'll be back at the gym. So, the question you've all been waiting for. What about the dog? What have we decided? Well, I think we've made a decision. And you have to understand, this is a big deal for us. This is a really big deal for us. It was a way bigger deal than I anticipated it being even. I did not anticipate it turning into quite the conversation that it has. Um, it has turned into quite the life moment. It, this will go down in the Hague annals as the decision to to have or not have a dog. Good morning, Betty and Rick. And I think the reason for that is, is that we have been a long time without pets. We were old and grumpy and we like our, our world the way that we like it. We're fussy. We like things clean. We like things this way, that way. We're like anybody else, right? You get it settled in your ways and the idea of taking on something that, you know, I was reading this morning saying, if you did bring in a new pup, you're going to potentially be toilet trading that thing every two hours for the next number of weeks, potentially. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I'm giving myself away a little bit maybe here. But I'm just looking at all the things, all the costs that will go into it, the time that will go into it, you know, the two in the morning, the three in the morning, the four in the morning, if this thing is up howling and yelping and wanting attention. We really going to do this? Well, I think we'll lay it all to rest here and answer the question for you. I'm not going to say yes, we are, but I think we are. Um, we are actually going to look at a pup, some pups today, and we'll, uh, we'll we will we will go with the intent of bringing one home and being joyful and having a fabulous time with this new little guy or gal, preferably a gal in my my books. But I'm not going to say it's a done deal until we actually bring him through the door <laughs> because it has been this big of a deal. It's been a huge conversation and a good conversation, but just a huge conversation because neither of us are really, it took both of us a long time to really come around to this, this thought, you know, do we really want to potentially turn our world upside down for a while? And we know that uh, all things come to an end. Puppies turn into young dogs, young dogs turn into adult dogs and they settle down with time. But the next number of months, do we really want to go through this? And I think we do. I think we do. I think it's going to be fun. I think we'll probably end up with a shepherd husky mix. I can't. I can't see going and spending the money on a purebred shepherd, kind of like I had thought about doing. But that's just a lot of cash. And morning, Pat. How you doing? Good to see you. Sorry, I haven't been in class. You got my email yesterday explaining myself, so you know I haven't been just slacking. But yeah, I think the dog is probably a done deal. The kids are pretty excited. We're going to go look at a couple this afternoon, like I said, and um, things go according to plan. Then yeah, we should uh, be dog owners here in a couple of weeks, a few weeks anyway. So we'll see. 
so you can be um, praying for us and or the dog. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what you do with old people. You know, you're 56 years old and you feel like you've got your world. It's pretty, pretty locked in, right? And uh, the grandkids come over when they come over, but then you ship them back home. And now you think of bringing this little pup in that's going to be with you 24-7. you got to care for it again. So you got really good advice to us. Send it along. And I do appreciate all the advice that's been sent. Um, lots of you have had good things to say. And I find something interesting, Quite, uh, I'll mention. It's quite politically correct to be pro-pet. I'm not so sure it's politically correct to be not pro-pet. <laughs> So very few people had to say anything negative. There were a couple of you that had a little bit of courage to sort of deke in, but then right away you deke back out. So you know what? If you've got some strong opinions, I'd, I'd be more than happy to hear them. This is an open forum. This is a safe place. You can say what you want and, uh, you know, respectfully, of course. But if you really have um, a terrifying um, experience or a horrible experience with a pet, I'd love to hear it because we really want to go into this balanced we want to go into it with a full head of knowledge, knowing what we're getting into, and do ourselves and the pet justice. You know, we don't want to get six months down the line and be shaking our heads, asking ourselves, why did we do this? And I don't think we will. I think we've done a lot of, a lot of due diligence. We've done a lot of reading. have got a really good idea of what it will take. So I think we're ready. But um, I want to know that I'm ready. <laughs> so there you go. Tim's little adventure with with uh, getting a dog or becoming pet owners. So we'll see, uh, time will tell yet. It's not a done deal yet. The ones we're going to look at will, uh, won't be available for probably another two weeks or so. So they won't be ready to come home. So we have a bit of time if we actually do choose one today. So we'll see, we will see, we'll go from there. So uh, yeah, send me your thoughts, your, your opinions, your positives, your negatives, tell me what you think. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like it here. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. If you're on uh, YouTube, share in the comments. And I think that's about it for today. I'm not going to keep you for a long time. I'm shaking like a leaf if you can't tell. <laughs> the poor night's sleep and the little bit of stress from yesterday has kind of got me going today. So I'm going to leave you with that. But I do want to thank you for all of you who were involved with the uh, our fundraising at U-Turn Parkinson's. Uh, th those of you who bought mystery boxes, thank you. They will be f hopefully finished today, ready to be delivered or picked up next week, but you'll hear about that. And um, all of those who uh, gave on Giving Tuesday, whether you gave to U-Turn Parkinson's or you gave to your local charities, thank you so much for doing that. I know so many charities across North America who are struggling, who are doing their best to provide resources for their Parkinson's community. And I know that they so very much appreciate your support and thank you if you were able to do that. And just don't forget them going on going into the new year. Morning, Brian. Good to see you, man. I will take it easy. You do the same. What's shaking? Ah, besides us. <laughs> but yes, thank you for your support to not only U-Turn Parkinson's, but your local communi uh, Parkinson's communities as well. Keep them in mind as we go into the new year. And... Um, yeah. Oh, I want to tell you to make sure and tune in to When Life Gives You Parkinson's. I have been very remiss. My good buddy Larry Gifford is into his third or fourth episode this season, and I have been very behind in listening. I've only got a couple of them done now, but the last couple that I've listened to have been absolutely fantastic. If you want to take those podcasts in, they are all about Parkinson's. He's got some fantastic guests on this year. He's got some fantastic topics that he's talking about. So make sure you tune in to When Life Gives You Parkinson's. You can find it on anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Or if you need to find it easily, you can go to U-Turn Parkinson's, our resource page. And we have them all listed there for you. So gang, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Thanks again for all your input on whether the Hague should be pet people or not. Hopefully come next week we'll have something positive for sure definite to tell you. But until then, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. And uh, send along your thoughts and opinions on pets if you'd like. Love to hear from you. Have a great weekend. And until next Friday, live your best. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.